let's have a look at uh, the game that's happening tomorrow. It's also happening in Mumbai. It is one side that is feeling a lot more confident than the other. It's Bangalore playing Rajasthan. That is match number 16. What do you know, man? Out of 56, worried. Up to match number 16. Well done. There's Bangalore, who has had a phenomenal start to the tournament. Uh, I'm telling you, man, everything is upside down in today's world, right? It's all Twilight. <laughs> nice guys are fighting. Bangalore's got off to a great start. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> the whole world's upside down. And guess what? Freakily, a bat has done it, right? It's got the whole world upside down. This is what's happening to Bangalore. They won the first game. They beat Mumbai, defending champions, right? Then they beat Hyderabad. That was quite a heist. Then they beat Kolkata. And now they are playing Rajasthan. So three out of three. What a start for them. This is their first game in Mumbai. Which perhaps means, Joy, that they're going to like this even more. Ball coming on the bat. There's some prolific hitting power in uh, that lineup. But they're going to say thank you very much. We'll have some of this. Yeah, and also I'll tell you. When teams look at the schedule, they're going to turn around and say, Rajasthan is an inconsistent team. You don't know which Rajasthan turns up which day of the week. Because, you know, yeah. their Indian batting is not that strong. So, one day they'll, they'll be blast everyone out of the ground. The other day they'll collapse. They say, if we can sneak in one more victory and get in at 4-0 yeah. before we play Chennai in the big boys, we get in one more victory. 4-0 begins to look pretty threatening out there. And then they say, you know, we can make a proper run for one or two. And I think that's what they're going to look at and say that, guys, just get us across the line one more time. This is a team that, you know, bats well sometimes, but they're not always the most consistent of teams. And that's Rajasthan's bane. I mean, the thing is that, uh, Pommy, if you win four out of four, it effectively means you just need to win four out of the next ten to qualify. I mean, you're, you're sitting very pretty if you can do four out of four. Guys, <laughs> I say this every year. It's not how you start. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's how you finish <laughs> all right and, true, and this true. is not this is not me taking anything away from bangalore fantastic they've been fantastic great for them to start this well the issue is keeping up their tempo and therefore other guys coming to the party and 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 uh, and performing you want a scenario where it's not one guy all the way through or two guys all the way through because as soon as that happens in the game where he doesn't get it in the game where the couple of guys who you've been relying on doesn't get they don't get runs they don't get wickets suddenly it all falls down and what it does to the rest of the team and to the guy himself probably is oh dear you know, if I don't get runs, it's a problem. Suddenly the pressure is ramped up on, you need to be the one getting us over the line all the time. I can give an example, actually. Yeah. Think about the Punjab side last year. Yep. Think about them, right? Think about the Sunrisers side, not just last year, with the Bearstow and Warner partnership. S I could similar add, sorts of sides. I, I could add uh, Bangalore themselves when they won 7 out of 10 and then they lost 5 on the trot. It was two correct, seasons ago. Correct. Correct. Yeah. So, so you last year, last year, sorry. Yeah. Don't want a case where there's one guy winning games, for it, particularly when it's early on. When it's early on, yes, of course, you can't be advocating for any sides to be wanting to lose games. You want to win games. But hopefully you can have other guys contributing. And if you start while well, you can keep going and, you know, stutter your way through somewhere and then pick up that form again towards the back end. But yeah, they're, they're a good side. And I think they've always been a good side. They've always been this side that can blow you away, Bangalore. They can. They just can. But they are also spectacularly crumbled, haven't they? Many a time. Yeah, we've seen and, that. Yeah, yeah so, so you... Fantastic the way they start. That man, De Villiers, is playing unbelievably as a wolf. I tell you what, you can't believe that he can still play like that. Don't touch a bat for I don't know how long. Turn up, whack it everywhere. I mean, goodness, it's unbelievable. And then the rest of the talent, he, I haven't even mentioned Virat. I mean, goodness, he, he gets going. Then what? Maxwell smashing it. It's just 
lovely side. Yes. Uh, are they Let's playing with it. three? Are they playing with three foreigners again? You got to be very confident with your Indian talent if you're playing with three foreigners. Uh, Mumbai did it. Uh, Mumbai champion side won it five times in a row. Joy, uh, but Bangalore does it, which means they have invested in their Indian core, in the squad, and they're investing in them in the team, giving them slots. Oh. It it is something they're doing, and they're doing a very good job of it. But I really think that they're going to do a little bit of retooling because now they're going to be playing in Mumbai, right? Yeah, different. And sentence. the way you play in Mumbai, so I think, say for example, somebody like a Shahbaz Ahmed, who's ideally suited for a surface which is slow and you know he can really turn the ball. Do they now take him out and do they put in somebody like an Abdeep Saini? Yep. Do, do they put in a proper fast bowler out there? Uh, the other thing I'm looking at is Zampa. Mm. If Zampa is fit, I still believe. In whatever pitch you play, even in Mumbai, he's a match-winning bowler. He's a kind of bowler who can give you wickets. And we were talking about it again. You know, all of us were talking about it. That right now it's a kind of age where it's not so much about economy rate, but about guys who can get wickets. Zampa is a wicket taker. So yeah. those are the changes that you know you can look at and say that you know there's something there. And uh, but this Mumbai's uh, this uh, Bangalore side is a great side. It's a very good side this year. Yeah, on the other side, if you have Rajasthan and Pommy, it looks like their team has an extradition treaty with the UK because the players just keep going back. <laughs> right? Their side, though, they have. I think they have capable replacements. The mm. issue then becomes: Can their capable replacements be get some sort of consistency over the next sort of ten games or whatever it is? Mm. That's the question. I mean, oh Sanju, what a player! Oh man, every year I do the same thing. Please, man, get five scores, you know, six scores for us, you know, like, you know that they they need something like that from him. Maybe his captain he will this time around. And the problem has been, you know, two three scores early and then nothing all the way in. That's been the yeah. problem with him. But maybe his captain will be different. Maybe others will stand up. Miller looks like he's in good touch. Hopefully, he can do it for them. Uh, Morris, you know, bought for lots of money. Can he do it for them? I, you know, on a good day, he can. He provides a whole lot, actually. Bad ball can catch, can do a whole lot. Yeah. But they need some consistency, as as Joy says. And, and if yeah. they can put together some sort of run, even if they do two runs, you know, somewhere along the one, two games, three games in a row, and then a little blip, and then two, three games in a row again, and, you know, yeah, hopefully. We'll see. We'll see. You, you want to have them challenging because you don't want that kind of tournament where people just kind of lag behind and they're gone mm. and they're out of contention. So if tomorrow Joy Rajasthan can beat a team like Bangalore, which seems to be on a roll, it's not just good for them, it's good for the tournament. It's, you know, cat among the pigeons kind of stuff again. But do you see any changes happening in their team? And also, they only have, I think, only have five foreigners left now. Yeah, five international players and, you know, yeah. Uh, Andrew Tai is the only guy who they really have on the bench and Andrew Tai really, I mean, Mustafa Yusuf is bowling well, Chris Morris is bowling well. I can't really see him coming out. That's the only problem they have. I mean, they would look at it and wish they had that one other international batsman who they could rely on and maybe, you know, drop a bowler and bring in a batsman. But right now, they have to play with what they have. Sometimes it actually works out for guys because, you know, they feel, okay, you know, this is it. I've got to do it. There's nobody else behind me. Let's. This is the unit to do it. The only thing that I say again is 107 of 95 balls is what their three batsmen, other than Sanju Samson, have got. Their three Indian batsmen, the top seven, other than Sanju Samson, have got 107 of 92 balls. Ryan like, Parag, Shivam Dubey, who's the third? Ryan Parag, Shivam Dubey, and Manan Bora. Manan Bora, all right. Yeah. If these guys come to the party, this could be a different tournament altogether because Josh Butler is the kind of batsman. These are international quality batsmen. He will come good. He may not come good in one match or the other. He's going to win you two or three games. You know, yep. Sanju Samson will win you a couple of games at the back, perhaps. And that's why I'm saying, if these guys come to the party, this is a very dangerous side. Mm. If they don't, because I think their bowling is coming together nicely. Sakari mm. and Jayadev Vunat could bowl a lot together. They're a good partnership. Chris Morris comes and he's looking much better because you know Chris Morris has this. He has this on year, off year, and this is definitely an on year. He's bowling well. Uh, they've got something there. I, I still don't understand what happened to Kartik Tyagi. You know, Kartik Tyagi and yeah. Ravi Bishnoi are the two players. I don't understand what happened from last yeah. year. Yeah, both yeah. Of them, you know, prospects last year both just disappeared.